Hello and welcome to another video. And today we're looking at the 2016 Customer Appreciation. This is a program that was just announced today and it happens every October, that sort of area. Any active player or people who have spent money on the game in various ways get bonus mechs that give you plus 30% Seville bonus. And some of these mechs in this upcoming Customer Appreciation are pretty good, have some interesting implications and impacts on the game. And today I'm going to go through each of them and what the, how you get them, what you have to do to be able to qualify. So we can see here, we'll scroll down, there's the, the preamble about the, uh, the event, and we have the active player reward. You must have played at least 100 matches since October 6th until October 18th of this year. So October 6th of last year. So if you played 100 matches in the last year, you're good. The majority of active players guaranteed you'll you'll get this. So no worries about that. It's 2 million sea bells, a mech bay, and a three-year anniversary cupcake. And a little cockpit standing item, which is uh, just a nice little reward. But when we start getting into these ones here, we start getting into new mechs that have the hero bonus, the plus 30% sea bells. There's the Mech Warrior Credits Reward. If you have purchased any quantity of MC, any quantity, even just like the little $6 package, $7 package, you qualify for this. And this gives you the Blackjack 2. And this Blackjack 2 is really interesting. We'll look at the loadout details here. Pull this down. It's a standard blackjack, so 45 tons, 235 max engine rating, jump jets. Well, this isn't very interesting or new. What's new about it is missiles. It's a blackjack with missiles in the side torsos. And you have enough of them. You have four, so you can actually run an SRM design on this, and it can be powerful. So I've gone to Smurphy, and I've taken another blackjack, and I've mocked it up the best I can. Now, there is no blackjacks with missile hardpoints, so bear with me as I explain my my reading reasoning behind this. And I see there being sort of two options, two routes to go with this. Uh, I'm of course you're going to have to take the max engine because you want this blackjack to be moving at the top speed, and because it's the 235, you are lacking a single double heatsink, so you have to take this one. It's just, that's the base. The single jump jet, just for a single jump jet, you can vary this depending on what you want to do, but at least one for some mobility. Then we've got five tons of SRM ammo, which you could maybe go down to four, but if you're going to run four missiles, four or five tons is probably where you want to sit, depending on how much you're going to go through in your average match. But it starts to run out of tonnage. We only got 16 tons here, so I see it as two options. 16 is actually the amount of tons you're going to need, because SRM-6 plus Artemis is four tons. You're going to need all 16 of these remaining tons in order to take four SRM-6s with Artemis. So this thing, you could probably go four SRM-6s with Artemis, maybe strip the arms, and get a little bit more ammunition, maybe a, a little bit more jump jet, and just go splat. Just pure splat on the blackjack. Or, alternatively, go Serm 4s with Artemis, and that will leave you with 4 tons left over, because they are 3 tons instead of 4. And then you can have the left and right arm, and you can put a medium laser in each side, and then take another couple heat sinks, and then you have 12, which is the th 3 tons of SRM-4 plus Artemis, times 4 for the 4 missile slots. Alternatively, again, you can drop Artemis and go for SRM-6s with the medium lasers, but no Artemis. So a little bit less concentrated in your missile hardpoints. But I think the two mediums, or maybe two small pulses, depending on how you want to set it up, two energy weapons and the four SRM-4s, with Artemis is going to be very powerful design and it's going to make this blackjack be basically the best blackjack brawler. That's cool. We're going to close that down here. 
close the next one down as we'll get rid of them as we go through them. Uh, for that is purchase any MC and you have to do it between the same dates, last October to this October. Moving down here to Inner Sphere Reward. It's purchased any tier of any Inner Sphere collection. So this is any of the individual collections, the Marauder, the Warhammer Rifleman, any of that stuff. If you even just got the $20 package, you're good. And you still have time to purchase it if you want to get it. This will give you the Cataphract 3L. Let's take a look at its hard points. So standard cataphract, 270 at 280 XL. Its max engine is going to be a 340. And it's gonna have very, very uh, known hard points. This is actually the exact same as the cataphract 1X. The one across the body, the one, arm, the one energy in the left arm, left torso, right torso, but two energy in the right arm, and then one ballistic in the right torso. But what's cool about this is it's going to be able to take Mask, which will mean that this mech can now go much faster than its other Cataphract counterparts. And it's going to make it, I think, probably the de facto brawling Cataphract, because you're going to be able to push the distance, you're going to be able to close with that Mask and kick some butt. So I've mocked it up here on the Cataphract 1X, and I'm using three tons of Goss ammo as a Mask Mark III. Now, I'm not sure if this is a Mask 3 or a Mask 4. I believe it's a Mask 3. Because the only uh, the only information I have is the Mask 3 on the Wolverine and the Mask 4 on the Executioner. So, I'm not sure which category it's going to fall into. But, as we can see here, I've gone with a standard 280. You can vary this depending on what you want. Uh, AC-20 with 4 tons of ammunition, and 5 medium lasers, and just a plethora of heat sinks. And it fits quite nicely on the mech. Now, with 69.7 kph max, you can actually go after speed tweak, depending on whether it's a Mark III or Mark IV. A Mark III is 26% faster, and a Mark IV is 30% faster. So with a Mark III, you're going to be going like... Now, almost 90 kph, 80 something. It's going to be great. You're going to be able to push that distance. You're going to be able to get in and get to your opponents and bring this IS front loaded AC 20 to bear. And it's going to be strong. All right, moving on from the Cataphract, we're going to go down to the clan reward. And this is for any tier of any clan. So, all the different waves before, but also the Kodiak, Viper, Nightshire, Huntsman. I feel that a lot of people are going to uh, qualify off the Kodiak, as it was a very popular mech. But this gives you a Hellbringer F loadout. Let's take a look at the Hellbringer F. Oh, I got these slightly out of order here. Uh, at least, let's go down and find it here. There we go, Hellbringer F. Very standard Hellbringer, exactly the same as the others, with XL325, 65 tons, and... No ECM, no jump jets, no masks. That's all normal. What's cool about this Hellbringer is the fact that there is an energy in the right torso. The rest of the mech is redundant comparatively to what we already have. You can just ignore it. This is the mo this is the important part. Right torso energy hardpoint. And why this is good is we'll go over to this Hellbringer that I mocked up here. Very standard laser vom build, two large pulse, three ER medium lasers, targeting computer mark one, clan ECM, everything's like great. But you can see what you see here is I've stripped the left arm and that allows you to get a little bit more in terms of double heat sinks than normal. And with that right torso energy hard point, I'm going to be able to take this large pulse from the arm here and put it here on the torso. Now what that does is it gets all your weapons in the torso, allowing you to use both arms as shields. And that's so much better. You can, you can liberate all that tonnage from the left arm armor to put another heat sink on the mech, making it that a little bit more efficient than previously. Now, you're not going to be able to use the arm to shoot down any, say, UAVs over you, but we can accept that if it means that all of our energy hard points are going to be in torsos. 
Also, Hellbringers are typically known for their high torso mounts, meaning that this large pulse in the right torso is not going to be down here. It's going to be like right up here, and it's going to be able to shoot basically along the lines of the cockpit, making the updated Hellbringer with that right torso energy very nice to have. But let's move on from that one, and we're going down to the top tier inner sphere reward. This is for purchasing any eligible top tier inner sphere collection. Now that's the full collections like the Resistance, so the Wrath, and the Mauler, stuff like that. But also if you got two collector's packs of the, the smaller packages. So that's the $40 one that comes with the uh, regular variant that has 30% sea bales, the special version. So this won't work if you've bought if you bought, say, the regular hero and reinforcements for things, you need to have bought the collector's packs, which is slightly annoying. Uh, it would be nice if they said if you have spent basically at least this much money, because the top tier packages are basically $80. If you spent $80 on inner inner packs, you should you should get this reward, I feel. If you have bought four packages at standard, you should get this reward because you've spent $80. But anyway, moving on. Stalker 3FB. Let's look at its loadout here. We have to go back for this one here. Stalker 3FB. Standard Stalker 85, 255 standard, max engine rating of 310. ECM capable. Yes, an ECM stalker. Take a look at the hard points here. Very standard stalker design with two energy in each arm and energy in each torso. But the first stalker with only two missile hard points. But we're not going to care about that because ECM laser stalker is in the house. And let's take a look at a couple of those builds. So, mocking up with the ECM taking the place of this Beagle active probe here. This, I think, is going to be one of the best designs. A standard 300 engine with 20 double heat sinks, four large pulse lasers, really good heat, heating efficiency. You're just going to sit back, you're going to just get fire large pulse, and you're going to be hidden under ECM, making missiles that much harder to hit you, and you that much happier. Another design will be to go more large laser, or maybe ER large laser, depending on how you want to do it, and it's going to be the six large laser design. Now it's a little bit hotter, you have to go 3 and 3 in order to not um, bring up any form of heat scaling, but it's going to be strong, and it'll be more effective on cooler maps. Moving on from that stalker, we're going to get to the top tier clan reward, which is actually two mechs, a summoner F and a summoner M. That's cool, let's take a look at their two things and again it's top tier of any clan collection so the full um Mascari collection or the mana war collection and stuff like that or again two collector's packs of the individual mech packages which i'll reiterate as like the other top tier collection i feel that if you've gotten four standard packages or any combination of packages that exceeds 80 dollars you should get this and i hope that they change it but moving on, let's look at the loadouts for the Summoner F and the Summoner M. Now, important thing about these two is their torso hardpoints. One big thing about the Summoner, it has low amounts of pod space. Like, it's just, it runs out of pod space. Not space, but tonnage to be able to play with stuff. Right torso energy left torso energy holy crap those two omnipods the the right torso from the foxtrot the f, uh, f and the left torso from the mic the m they are going to be amazing the other omnipods who cares a one ballistic a one energy omnipod yeah, this is nothing comparatively to what we already have we don't care about those now those torso omnipods though for energy take a look at a summoner mocking it up here we have a standard laser VOM with two large pulse lasers, two ER mediums, and two tons free. Because in the future, we could put these two summoners instead to have 
energy hard points there. We can fit on another two ear medium lasers onto the summoner. The summoner can finally have a decent build on it in that sense. You can basically do any build you do on the storm crow on this thing. So uh, what I've been using in my free to play, the one large pulse and like four or five or however you want to do it, ER medium lasers, that's going to work on here. This two large pulse laser and say three or four ER mediums will work as well. It'll be a little bit toastier, but hey, that's fine sometimes if you're on a cold map. So yeah. That top tier package reward is going to seriously boost the power of summoners. It's going to make them way stronger in the current meta, allowing them to have viable laser vom, which is incredible. Also, uh, PPC summoners can now take them out of the arms and put them into the torsos, removing armor from the torsos, not from the torsos, removing armor from the arms in order to get more heat sinks. That'll be cool. But yeah, that is everything here. And then the, the ultimate reward is in a mech. Uh, it's if you kill all five for both top tier collect, um, collections, then you get a exclusive special loyalty version of uh, standing cockpit items and some war horns and stuff like that. So the ultimate top tier reward, I would say actually thankfully isn't an in-game uh, item that affects gameplay. So that way it's not as a, a chase thing. It's not like they're going to go, oh, hey, for a person who had spent the most money, we're going to give them this absolutely OP mech for however many months it takes for these other ones to come out for C-Bills, which all of these mechs will eventually come out for C-Bills, but don't expect them for several, if not multiple months after they come out as loyalties. But that is the... 2016 loyalty and customer appreciation event so if you want any of those mechs go here check uh, the qualifications see if you qualify they're gonna be putting up a special page in your profile relatively soon I believe next week so that you can see what you qualify for currently but that'll be it for me today thanks for watching this episode of current news I guess something. Hopefully this gives you some information in order to uh, direct your purchases. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.